Good morning, everyone. This is Merrick from Bayman Jeans, and today it's all about payments. And this week, I would like to cover a specific event that happened in the world of payments. Because was Facebook really that crazy to believe that the Brazilian government would approve the rollout of their new WhatsApp payment service? Just a few days after WhatsApp's announcement, the Brazilian authorities suspended the rollout. And this is the second time Facebook fails to launch their messaging payment service in another country. The first time being two years ago was when WhatsApp tried to launch the service in India, their largest market, by the way, which also was halted due to governmental pressures. Choosing the Brazilian market, however, was a very smart move due to the high number of SMEs in that country. If the WhatsApp P2P payment method would have been approved, it would have had a staggering 80% market coverage due to its partnership with both Visa and MasterCard. Brazil's central bank and antitrust regulator justified their decision with the goal to preserve an adequate competitive environment and prevent a monopoly. However, the upcoming launch of the central bank's own payment service called PIX makes us wonder if there may be a hidden agenda behind halting WhatsApp's payment service. Why is the government of an increasingly developing country stating that it wants to allow a competitive advantage, but at the same time it attempts to preserve the monopoly of their own player? We can conclude that Facebook might be opening the doors to innovation and seamless customer experience, but this definitely comes with a risk as well. WhatsApp has the potential to overtake and monopolize the payments market. This will enable them to increase the price for this feature, which is similar to Uber's strategy, for instance. The Facebook-owned service announced a 3.99% processing fee for merchants to receive payments through the app. It is interesting to compare this with, for instance, WeChat's offering, which fee for merchants is only 0.6%. So, do you think Brazil's government was simply trying to protect its own economy, or was there something more behind their decision? Let us know below in the comments, and I will see you next week. Cheers, bye-bye.